so here we go. I will definitely take over if needed. FSD handled this on the other side coming up. Let's see how it does coming down. So yeah, all right. It was able to make the turn, but that was just half of it. So here comes the second half of the turn. Really bendy turns. FSD doing a good job. This time a suggested speed of 20 miles per hour. That's gonna be difficult run here to my right. This is by far the sharpest, most difficult turn on the entire journey. And here you go. This is the hardest part. FSD doing a good job. FSD did a great job of taking that turn. Well done. So these are gonna be the trickiest parts of Georgetown Pike. Um, bringing, trying to bring you the best angle giving you guys the experience make you feel like hopefully you're you know feel like you're riding here in the car um, but keep in mind the car's in control I have nothing to do with the steering or the pedaling since the beginning of this video or since I engaged FSD um, and I'll let you know if I have to take over we got Bella in the car with us today hey Bella she's hanging out looks like she's driving but it's FSD beta once again. <laughs> All right, so another really sharp turn here. Well done. I gotta say I'm really impressed on the way that it handled that really sharp first turn. Um, we got some pretty big turns coming up still in the video, but I know that that's the, the toughest one. and. And to see the way it handled it and, you know, slowed down for the right speed, you know, took it. I felt comfortable taking it. Um, so, yeah, really good job there. That's one thing before I got the FSD beta, I was using autopilot. And autopilot actually doesn't slow down. It will go as fast as you tell it to. Now when you had a car in front of you, autopilot will measure the distance of the car and slow down. But with basic autopilot from the version that I was using it, it I would find myself having to scroll the wheel and slow down for like sharp turns, you know? And that's not cool because if you have it at 50 and it's trying to take a sharp turn at 50, that, that could get pretty dangerous or uncomfortable pretty quick. So I really, I really like that FSD slows down for you. It makes a huge difference in the experience. I mean, I was basically driving my car manual because of that. Like I didn't like that at all. So I'm really happy to see that they fixed that in the update, you know, with FSD and now it slows down for you and it recognizes you know, turns coming up and it, it gets, you know, drives more like a human. Now turn right onto Spring Hill Road. All right, so super sharp right turn for you all coming up here. Here we go. All right, so now we're using some one lane roads here. There's going to be no yellow line in the middle. So the navigation is taking me some different way. <clears throat> so let's add on to this video here. Let's see how this works. So FSD did a pretty good job about making sure that we had space there. This is a very narrow road here where uh, two cars can't really get by next to each other. So FSD's got to kind of slow down and get to one side for if I get a car coming on head on so this should make for an interesting part of the video all right we got another car coming on head on but good thing we've got a lot more space here wow so that person kind of um, so I had to take over there for a second I don't know if you all saw that they sort of weaved into traffic starting to get towards me I don't know if they did that as a joke or what but that wasn't funny and uh, I took over just because yeah that was dumb I mean no 
comment there. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Now turn left onto Old Dominion Drive. All right, so approaching a stoplight here. I'm gonna see how FSD is able to handle itself. Other than that small little takeover, um, which you know I probably could have let it go through. I just did that myself. We, you know, FSD has been in control the whole time. So here we go. Wait for the school bus. Good job waiting for the school bus. All right, so we are now on Old Dominion Drive. We're driving through Langley and McLean area. Got a school bus in front of us, so a little bit limited visibility, but we're still doing a great job. We're on a one lane highway or not highway, just small highway, I guess you can say. But yeah, this has been a pretty exciting drive so far. FSD has done pretty spectacular, I have to say. Um, it did hesitate a little bit on the one lane road with no yellow markings on it. It was a super narrow road and when the car was coming at me it sort of swerved for a second and I took over at that point even though I should have let FSD drive and see what its reaction was gonna be but you know I always consider safety first when I'm driving so I didn't um, but anyways we're back on the route now I think it made a few adjustments for traffic, but definitely added for the video, um, making some, uh, hopefully some good scenes for you all. Really nice neighborhood back here. Looks like we're gonna make a stop at this red light. Really tricky four-way intersection here. But yeah, um, lovely neighborhood in Great Falls. I mean, this is the place to live. You got huge houses on, sitting on acres. A lot of these houses are going for millions of dollars and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Um, definitely check out the area. Yeah, the closer you get like to Potomac River too, I think you know some of the houses there are just giant so I can see those going for like 1.5, 1.6. Yeah, it gets pretty ridiculous up here. All right, so super narrow roads, FSD beta is handling itself pretty well so far. I gotta say, this is one of those, you know, more suspect roads where you're not sure how it's going to handle itself, um, but I give it some props. If you've seen some of my previous videos, I talk about all the different driving modes, like navigate on autopilot compared to FSD beta. I'm um, really a big fan of using all the different driving modes. I think it's important to understand them all. But I still try to make the argument that navigate on autopilot is going to be your most polished software available to any Tesla because it's out of the beta program or whatever. Or is it? Because it actually still says beta next to it, but it's available, you know, without having to like earn it with your safety score. But I have to say they did a really great job with this 10.69 because now anyone with a safety score of 80 or 80 and you have to have 100 miles driven, then yeah, they'll push it right to your car as, as an update. So, all right. So I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed FSD on the small narrow roads. Um, enjoyed the video georgetown pike subscribe for more content um and i hope everyone has a great rest of the day gonna be uploading as much 4k content for you guys as possible so please hit that subscribe button and hope you have a blessed wonderful rest of the day